Okay, so today I'm rebuilding the front brake calipers for my Del Sol. Uh, we're going to use a 12 mil to break that bolt loose. Going to go ahead and pull out the banjo bolt that holds the brake line on. And next, I'm going to go ahead and use pressurized air to push out the piston. You can stick something in the banjo bolt hole and push it out, but that's how I did it. And I'm going to go ahead and inspect the piston. There's a little bit of surface rust there, nothing major. I'm going to go ahead and pull out this ring inside of here that held the other dust seal on. Using a 1000 grit sandpaper to do a little wet sand, basically to just check the surface of the piston. That would let me know if I need to replace the piston or not. Go ahead and wipe it off. And what I'm looking for is major pitting. Don't see any major pitting, so I'm going to reuse this piston. I'm going to go ahead and take these slide pins out. Remove the rubber boots. Same thing over here. I'm using a flathead to pop off the seal on the other side. and a 10 mil to take the bleeder valve off. Putting a little bit of LA's Totally Awesome in the Sonic tank. Throwing the brake parts in. And I'm going to fill the rest with distilled water. Once everything comes out of the sonic tank, I'm still going to go ahead and push through some paper towels and make sure I got all the grease out of everything. All right, I'm going to wear some safety glasses and I'm just going to use a wire wheel to clean up the inside of the caliper and the piston and just kind of give it a general cleaning all around. Definitely making sure to hit these seal landings. Very good because I don't want to have any leaks coming through. After that, I'm putting the caliper in the vise, and I'm going to use this brake hone to hone out the inside of the cylinder. Make sure th everything is fresh. I'm going to use a little bit of 70% alcohol as a lubricant. And there you can see everything's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and wipe everything out, spray it with some more alcohol to get it nice and clean. And then I'm just going to continue to wire wheel the whole thing. Next, I'm going to step outside and break clean everything just to get it ready for the paint. I used the AutoZone caliper paint and honestly that stuff is not great. Um, if you get any type of 
like break clean on the caliper paint, it's going to start to come off. So here I am doing the bracket that goes with the caliper. And we're just going to set those up to dry. Here is the paint. I should have taped up the pin didn't really think about it on this caliper um, but here is doing the caliper itself and you can see those spots those are where either I've touched it or um, some brake clean got on it and started peeling the paint off here's the two seals I'm gonna have a link to these in the description one is the inner seal for the um, hydraulic fluid. The other one is a dust shield. So I'm putting a little bit of silicone lubricant on there. And we're putting this on the inner ring. This is the one that will keep all of the fluid in uh, behind the piston. This is some more silicone uh, lubricant. Next, we're going to put in the dust shield. Next, I'm going to put on the slider pin seal. Goes on the outside here. Just give it a couple whacks. A little bit of seal glide on the slider pin. I'm going to go ahead and put this dust boot on the side that takes the slider pin. Going to put this boot on the other side. Make sure it's opened up. Put the slide pin in this side. Put the dust shield on both sides. And then we're going to put the bracket on. Slip the 12 mil bolt in. to tighten it up the new bleeder valve i got from hondapartsnow.com so that's pretty much the build uh, please take a second to like subscribe share comment all four of those would really help me out thank you